In terms of looking at our mid-year forecast, we really have to look and see what's happened since the beginning of the year. People were reacting what they anticipated was going to happen in the oil and gas sector. So a lot of that was fear-based. What we saw was that from January, we had over five months of supply. That really isn't a very normal balanced market. And so what we've seen over the last quarter is that prices have been stable. Our market conditions have become a little bit more balanced. And in fact, prices really haven't shifted as much as some people had expected they would. Housing activity in July remained fairly similar to what we saw in the previous month. Prices stabilized with no further changes. However, when we look at the different sectors, we do see things happening. Um, the apartment sector saw a greater pullback in pricing activity, whereas both the detached and the attached sectors remained relatively stable on pricing. Moving forward, we do expect that there'll be further downward pressure on the housing market as we continue to see weakness in the employment figures. We're expected to be in a recession, less uh, weaker levels of net migration into the city, all of this weighing on demand as we move forward. With that being said, despite all of this, it's important to note we're not giving back all the gains that we've made in the previous two years. Prices are expected to be just slightly below last year, and some of that will be due to differences in the different sectors, like the apartment sector versus the detached and attached. The fear of what's going to happen in the future is still there. And I think there are a number of people that are still concerned about their employment situation. We don't know what's going to happen with the oil and gas sector. And in fact, in talking to one realtor, he said a husband and wife couple that he was working with that were looking in the $600,000 price range and then decided, well, perhaps we should reevaluate that. We should really be looking in the $400,000 range. And ultimately, that's what they bought. Get educated. Find Find out how much supply is available in those, what the competition is like, and understand what fluctuations might be occurring in that current market.